Hi, this is Mick Elliott from Electronic Specifier. I'm with David Diaz, who is the Managing Director of Azira. We're here at European Microwave Week. David, first of all, could you give us an overview of Azira? Yes, absolutely. So, Earthia, we are... Sorry. Earthia, we are a microwave uh, and RF company. We were founded 22 years ago. We are really focused on RF and microwave electronics, especially power amplifiers, low noise amplifiers, and also integrated assemblies. Um, the origin of the company 20 years ago was focused yes. on high real uh, electronics in microwave for the European Space Agency, especially. Uh, we are based in, in Santander, very nice town in northern Spain. Yeah. Um, but we have evolved the capacities of the company, and nowadays we have a catalog of more than 300 cuts, power amplifiers, low noise amplifiers, switches, attenuators, etc. Let's say for the commercial market, but also high real markets like aeronautics uh, or defense uh, customers. Um, so we today are presenting our new line of uh, power amplifiers and low noise amplifiers, especially dedicated for new space markets. Mm -hmm. We are filling the gap between the fully space qualified uh, amplifiers and uh, hardware mm -hmm. that we know very well from our uh, beginning uh, working with the USP and Space Agency. Uh, with the world of commercial amplifiers. So we are having something in the middle which has been really demanded by our customers and is to uh, fly cuts that have some level of reliability without compromising the performance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is very um, uh, common nowadays with kind of new space missions. Um, this is not intended for long-term uh, traditional satellite, but for this low Earth orbit uh, constellations, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. or for communications, Earth observation, uh, moon uh, in, um, research and development, etc. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have been already working with customers in this line for already two years, but we have decided to have the step and launch the line of cuts. So this means that, that those are units that are already available, that a customer doesn't need to spend long uh, development times or to have a uh, big energy budgets. No, the units are already there. They have radiation tolerance. They can work in vacuum. They meet all gassing requirements for the, most of the space crash environments. So this is something we are really proud of. And we know that we are filling a gap in the market that nobody else is doing at this moment in the, in the industry. So we are very proud of presenting this line today uh, here at the European Microwave Week. Uh, for any detail or sales team or marketing team, we will be pleased to introduce each and every unit of the 13 units that we are presenting today on program amplifiers and low noise amplifiers. And really looking forward to, to see the response of the market on this new line. Okay, so there's 13 in, this, in, in the new family. Yes. What, what, what are just the characteristics, uh, you know, just to give some sort of idea of the range? We have a KA band uh, amplifier, very uh, common nowadays for high the, um, transfer of the data links between the satellite and, and Earth. We have also S-band, uh, very, very common, and some wideband amplifiers that cover different frequencies, uh, most typical used in small sats or in micro satellite uh, devices. Um, this is for HPAs, and we have also the equivalents in low noise amplifiers mm -hmm. that also cover the, the other part for receiving mm -hmm. commands from the Earth in TA band, uh, S band, C band, and also wide band. Mm -hmm. So with these 13 models, we really cover the needs yeah. mm -hmm. of the of this market, but we will be adding more modules during the next year to mm -hmm. this family. Okay. Uh, I mean, the low Earth orbit market is really ex exploding recently, so I guess you're, you're tapping into a, quite a rich scene there. Yes, uh, it's something that we have been seen during the last years mm -hmm. that uh, customers are more and more willing to fly uh, things that are ready to fly they are assuming risks they don't need the full uh, traditional space approach with uh, months of paperwork and analysis and research because their missions are not going to stay there for 20 years yeah they just want to fly something for three years five years even less mm -hmm. so they don't need to spend a lot of money and a lot of time in something mm -hmm. that will last there for uh, two or three years so this is exactly where we are uh, fitting our product line in order to be reliable, 
enough to be there. It's not flying something that you don't know what's going to be happening. Yeah. It's reliable to work there, um, but at the same time, it's a coach and can be delivered in short time uh -huh. and reasonable price. Okay. And the products are developed and manufactured in Santander? Or? Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. we have our headquarters are in, in Santander. This is where we have our research uh, and development center. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have the production there. And uh, we are expanding our facility. In fact, next year we are um, inaugurating a new clean room that uh, will double our production capability also in, in Santander. Uh -huh. And uh, we also have a subsidiary in the US to uh, attend our uh, US market. Yep. Uh, but uh, this is a sales office that uh, from there we sell directly the products to the US customers. Okay. And do you have a, a distribution channel network as well? Yes. We work through several representatives mm -hmm. around the world. Mm -hmm. Let's say that our main markets are the European Union, um, United States, Canada, and um, let's say Japan and something mm -hmm. in Australia as well. And each uh, of these uh, markets have a specific uh, distributors. Just to mention a global distributor that we have is uh, Richardson RFP, RFPD. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a global distributor we work with. Um, but uh, we are also very accessible to customers, uh, even they are located uh, mm -hmm. all over the world, because we know, we understand that these kind of units need direct contact with the engineering team and direct te technical support. So we are very used to give this support from Santander. So there's, there's full support both from you and from the distributor. The distributor can call you in, yes. help a customer if necessary. Yeah? Exactly. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. David Diaz, thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.